Like if I covered Taylor Swift with Poutine, I'd be like, man, you know what? She was great before, but now she's even better. And even more so because she's covered in Poutine, I'm never going to break up with her, which means there's going to be no 20 minute song written about me. Hi there, nice to see you again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris and I am beyond stoked today with what I'm going to bring you. You know, when I, when I started this YouTube channel, I didn't quite know in which direction we'd ultimately wind up going. But if I'd known we were going to wind up here, I probably would have started this channel years ago. And no, just to answer the question to Slap Nuts is Gaming, it is not the donkey testicles that you keep asking me to eat. It may happen eventually, but I just don't want to offend anybody. And the last thing I want to do while deep throating a bovine is to wind up spitting instead of swallowing. So find me somebody who can prepare them nicely, I'll give it a shot. But no, today is something else altogether. I woke up this morning to a message from one of my close friends who's also a regular viewer of the channel, and she tells me that Beaver Tails does a poutine on a beaver tail. A and my initial response is, why, why are we not eating this, like, right now? So I'm sitting back all morning, drumming my fingernails, checking my multiple fantasy football lineups, which are disasters up and down the board. I'm not winning any prizes anywhere, but I still continue to hold out hope, waiting for that 11 o'clock hour to roll around. Finally, it shows up. I am first in line. I said, give me a poutine. And they said, we have to heat up the gravy. Hang on. More waiting, 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 waiting. But finally, it has happened. So for all the foreigners who are watching my channel who are not familiar with what a beaver tail is, it's fairly exclusive to the Ottawa region. Of course, you might recognize it under different names, such as maybe fried dough or an elephant ear, and it's the same concept. You top it usually with some butter and some cinnamon sugar, or maybe you can do some Nutella and some banana. Lots of different ways you can go. Actually, right here, I will show you the menu in and of all of its glory, but the one item that stands out on the savory side of things is the poo tail. So I think without any further ado, it's time to take a look at what this poutail looks like. The grand reveal in three, two, one. You know what, let's go in for a close up view here as we can get a look at the mounds of that brown gravy or sauce brun as they call it in Quebec, all over top of a fried and crispy beaver tail. Now a beaver tail, as we know it, is supposed to be picked up and eaten by hand. But if I try to eat this up, I'm gonna wind up looking like a bigger mess than the 2021 Ottawa Senators. So I got my knife and I got my fork. You can judge me all you want for taking the conservative route. I don't care. We go through plenty of laundry in this house without me having to change clothes multiple times just because I happen to be filming a special Poutine episode. And before I go ahead and give this a taste test and be Poutine this in my mouth, just a reminder that if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, it's high time that you do, because if you do, it gets us a little bit closer to that goal of 300 subscribers by Christmas morning. And if we hit that 300 subscribers by Christmas morning, it is gonna be raining Christmas all down all over the world because I am gonna hit up every single fast food restaurant in the city of Ottawa that carries puts in. That means places such as McDonald's and Harvey's and Burger King and Popeye's and more and more and more and more. My God, it's just gonna be a puts in explosion, the likes of which you've never seen, but the way you get us there a little bit quicker is to hit that subscribe button. And now I'm subscribing to get my hands on some beaver tail with puts in. Okay, the dough is still very crispy, which is great. I wanna get some with some cheese curd and some gravy as well, as well as the fries. That is a nice big bite. And the dough is still very crispy. I'll give a bite to the dough in advance. Really good, and they smartly did not top it with anything. It's more of a savory dough. There's no sugar that's been sprinkled on there. I think that would be more than a little bit weird. So I'm, I'm delighted they didn't fly too far off the rails while still bastardizing this Quebec treat. Mm. So I'm not really in a position to tell you what puts in literally translates to. My French is atrocious. But to me, if it stands for hot mess, that's probably an apt description, but it is a delicious hot mess. There is just something magical that happens when you've got that super salty, pull apart, warmed cheese curd covered in that brown gravy. 
and then you've got that extra crunch that's retaining its crunch through the mass of gravy because that's what a beaver tail does. It just holds on to its crunch no matter what you sop it in. It's a contrast made in heaven. And most importantly, it is keto friendly. Granted, I, I don't know what keto means. Yeah, the poutine by itself, this is a really good poutine. I really like the gravy. It's It's got some pepper. It's got a lot of really good salt. You can taste the beef drippings, but it's really that crunch from the beaver tail that adds a certain je ne sais quoi. Literally translated means, I don't know what. It's calorie rich, it's not good for you, but it's the holidays. And I'm gonna have to find a new excuse after December 25th to continue doing stuff like this. I don't know if I've ever openly eaten as much of any one product on camera as I've eaten today, but I'm not apologizing for anything. I really dig this. Man, oh man, I tell you what, we need to putinify the entire nation. If there is anything that exists out there that we have not yet put putin on, we gotta get it done. It makes everything better. Like if I covered Taylor Swift with putin, I'd be like, man, you know what? She was great before, but now she's even better. And even more so because she's covered in putin, I'm never gonna break up with her, which means there's gonna be no 20 minute song written about me which is too bad because nobody's ever written a song about me and I know that it would have been a hit single. All right, I'm gonna be finishing this up off camera, but before I wrap it up for the day, one more plug that I wanna throw out. My son is on the autism spectrum and it makes stuff like social interactions very, very difficult for him, especially when meeting new people for the first time. The world's a scary place. He's often overstimulated and he can't express himself in a way that makes it easy for him. Well, we wanted to get him out to see Santa, but that was gonna prove impossible in a regular setting. There is no way he'd be able to stand in line, wait, and then be able to squeeze in a two minute photo with a man he's never really had an interaction with before. Well, we were able to book a private 15 minute session with Santa today, and it was really, really beautiful. It was exclusive for children that are on the autism spectrum. And Santa was so gentle, waited for my son to approach him by simply conversing with him, asking him about the pictures that were on his shirt, asking him if, if he's into Toy Story or Buzz Lightyear or Woody, eventually finding some common ground with him and then offering to let him shake his little jingle bells, at which point he got close enough to start asking for the presents that he wanted for Christmas. And by the end of the session, the two of them were on camera making funny faces together, giving high fives, and my son was chatting his ear off about all the different toys he wanted to get his hands on. It was great. Interactions like these are incredibly difficult to have, so I'm very grateful that that organization exists. So I know that I've already gone ahead and donated. I would love it if you went ahead and did so too, if you've got the ability to be generous this holiday season. No obligation, just something that I believe very deeply in for obvious reasons. And that's all I've got for today. Thank you very much for joining me as I got to dig my way through a puts in covered beaver tail. If you want to see me go on more adventures like this one, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course share this video with all your friends so that we can continue to allow this channel to grow to the masses. Your love and generosity, always appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one. Ciao for now.